What made Guns N' Roses special was five different elements. Songwriting, vocals, guitar playing, guitar sound, image. And the fact that they all fit. They all fit the group. They all look like they belong there. The fun of it's gone. No, nobody you know, dresses the part anymore. The, even if there's some people that can make good music, you don't recognize all the members in the band. They don't, there's, not, there's no image. Even the, the lead singer doesn't have much of an image anymore. I'm sure there's some garage bands out there that are really cool, that still have image and can write and, 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 and ha are a good fit. But there, unfortunately, there's no one to, to discover them. There's no record companies really anymore. And if there is, there, there's, not a, there's very few people that can do that. And how are they gonna find a garage band that's playing a Saturday night party somewhere in a suburb, you know, unfortunately, it's the internet has killed it in a way. You would think that the internet could help you get your music out there with iTunes and, you know, before it was MySpace and now Facebook, but there's nobody there to find you and then put you on tour and record you and, and, and let you be a band. It's just because there's not enough record sales today. Today, you know, the only way bands make it is on their touring and the only way bands are going to tour is if you've heard of them you know and, you, and you're going to pay money to see them but hopefully one day something will happen and there'll be another way for kids to get influenced by cool bands and go out there and do the same thing that they were influenced to do and create new music based on what they liked in 1985 what made guns N' roses so special was all five of them together on stage, there was something that each one of them radiated. If you looked at a poster of them on the wall, you could identify all five of them. Now, if you look today's band, you, you don't even see posters anymore, but if you did, you would maybe identify the singer. So there's what, I mean, in that time, music industry pretty much was dead, and these guys were, here and they, 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 they were influenced by good music, you know, different, different things like Slash was your hard rock blues guy and Izzy was your rock and roll, Hanoi Rocks, Rolling Stones guy, Duff was your, you know, classic punk rocker. Steven had some funk and liked pretty much all that stuff and Axel just was definitely a, a, a percentage of all of that combined. So they all worked off each other's ideas, and there's not one person really responsible for it. In fact, if you add up the percentages, what you think they contributed, it'd come out to like 180 percent. It wouldn't come up to 100 because they're all, you know, let's say let's say Axel's worth 50 percent, and Slash, you got to give them at least 40 percent. You give Izzy and Duff 30 percent each, and then Steve and 20, you're going to come up with more than 100. So in that particular band yeah just had the right guys in the right place at the right time but also they all had energy and they had image classic rock would really mean bands that have been around long enough to be called classic rock but if you see who is considered classic rock you'll see there are cool bands that had an image because 20 years ago bands had image you know 20 30 years ago bands still had images now bands don't have really much of an image at all. It's just a matter of someone realizing, a group of guys realizing that something's wrong in the world today with music and to go out there and try to make something new. That's actually old, you know, to, to, to do what influenced them. You know, in the 70s, Jimmy Page influenced people, kids to play guitar. Uh, Slash has been doing that since, you know, Welcome to the Jungle hit MTV. And he's still doing that. Guitar Hero and all the other things that do that. But, and Slash still has that image. And that's who Slash is. But there's a lot of guitar players today, they played their guitar all the way up here and they don't, they don't dress and they don't lean the right way and they, they, they might play okay. But it's, it's not enough to excite you. It's, it, it takes more than just hearing it. There's, something has to excite you. I remember when I grew up, and I started first liking Aerosmith. I heard them on the radio, and I thought they were cool. And one day I was looking through a magazine, and it said Aerosmith, and I saw those pictures, and it was like I was in hook, line, and sinker. It wasn't just the music. Now it's the image. The image pulled me in just as much as the music. So 
now if you have the music that you like, there's no image to go with it. So it's just um, it's something that really needs to come back. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Daniel Sarkissian. I'm an independent filmmaker from Toronto.